Today on a very special episode of How to Do It All, I'm gonna show you how to back up your iPhone. It's kinda of like those uh, special episodes of like Full House when DJ smoked a jazz cigarette. <laughs> jazz. Look, you have to back up your iPhone. And I'm gonna show you a few different methods of how to do that. And yes, one of them will be iCloud. No, whoa, whoa, please, 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 just calm down. So let's say that you look after your iPhone really well. You guard it, you protect it, but bam, one day you drop it, or bam, one day you lose it, or bam, one day it gets stolen. Man, I think I'm turning into Emeril Lagasse. Bam, there you have it like that, all right? But then you get a new iPhone, only to realize that you didn't have your old one backed up. That is the worst feeling. Fate of the world, why do you hate me so? But that's why you've got to back up your iPhone. And the easiest way to do that is iCloud. You probably have heard of it before. iCloud is a free account. More on that in a second. That's tied to your Apple ID. To start an iCloud backup, make sure your phone's connected to Wi-Fi. Then you're going to go to settings and then choose Apple ID slash iCloud ID, AKA your name. If you're not signed in, take a moment to do so. Then tap iCloud. On the next page, scroll down to iCloud Backup. Enable iCloud Backup, and then tap Backup Now to start. Depending on how much data you have, and if this is your first time backing up to iCloud, this could take a few minutes up to an hour, which is the perfect amount of time to watch the 1990 series, Xena Warrior Princess, starring Lucy Lawless as Xena, both a warrior and a princess who goes from town to town battling evil. What, my, my iCloud's backed up already? <laughs> cool. Moving forward, anytime you have your iPhone plugged into power, on Wi-Fi and locked, it will automatically back up any new data to iCloud. Pfft, how cool is that? Pro tip. <laughs> iCloud doesn't back everything up from your iPhone. Well, hey, well, well, what's the, uh, the purpose of it then, Patrick? See, anything you bought with your Apple ID, like music and apps, well, Apple has a receipt for it and you can just re-download for free. And things like your email, contacts, and calendars, well, they're synced to your email account like your Gmail account or Yahoo. Wait, are you still using Yahoo? Pro tip. Now, if that iCloud backup worked, then great, fine. You're doing wonderful. See you next week on our next video. Drink them if you got them. But for a lot of you guys, you probably weren't able to back up your iPhone to iCloud. And instead, you saw this message on your iOS device. Your iPhone, or in this case, my iPad, cannot be backed up because there is not enough iCloud storage available. Every iCloud account comes with five gigabytes of storage for free. But the problem is most people's backup files for their iPhone are bigger than five gigabytes, or they have more than one iOS device that needs backing up to that account. And maybe, yeah, hey, maybe one day Apple will give us more storage for free so we can back our phones up. That would solve so many problems. But in the meantime, here's some workarounds I got for you. Step one, figure out your backup size. To do this, go to settings. Tap on Apple ID iCloud on the top right, then iCloud, then manage storage, and last, backups. You'll see a list of devices that are backing up or trying to back up with your account. Select the device you're currently on. For example, I'm gonna choose this iPad, and then give your device a few moments to figure things out. Boop, 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 beep, 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 math. Look at the top three lines, last backup, backup size, and next backup size. If you haven't backed up to iCloud, your next backup size might be a pretty large amount of data. For example, on my iPad, it's 5.05 gigabytes. Wait, I'm 0.05 gigabytes of the free limit? Come on, Apple. Seriously, ridiculous. Step two, adjust what gets backed up. Below the next backup size is a list of data that you can choose to have backed up. The list will go from what takes up the most space to the least. Do I really need to have movie trailers backed up? Nope, so I can turn it off. And look at that, my backup file size is under five gigabytes. No money to you, Apple. For comparison, here's my work phone, which has a much bigger backup size. And since it's been backed up to iCloud, the next backup is a relatively small file. Step three, buy more storage. Okay, so this is the part that nobody does, or well, nobody wants to do, but you can actually pay Apple more money and get more storage. I know, I know, why pay Apple any more money? You've already paid for the phone, you're paid for the Apple Care, they don't need another penny from you, let alone 99 a month. But if you lost your iPhone and you got a new one, 
and then someone told you that for $12, they could put all of your old data on that lost phone onto your new phone, wouldn't you take it? Yeah, and that would be worth every penny. And $12, by the way, is the exact cost for extra iCloud storage for one year. Step four, use iTunes. Remember iTunes, good old iTunes. If you're running Mac OS Mojave at 10.14 or earlier, or you're on a PC, you can just plug your iPhone into your computer and back it up to iTunes instead of iCloud. Yeah. Open iTunes. If you're on a PC, you might have to download it first. After you give your devices permission to talk to each other, click on the super tiny little iPhone icon. Seriously, could they have made it smaller and harder to find? Scroll down to the backup section and under automatically choose this computer and bam, your iPhone's backed up to your computer. Wow, I really am turning an emerald. Bam, just like that. Keep in mind, your backup is as safe as your computer. So if uh, something happens to your computer, then something will happen to your backup. Step five. Use macOS Catalina Finder Backup. You may have heard murmurs that the next macOS, macOS Catalina, has done away with iTunes. Eh, that's kind of true. Basically, iTunes has been broken up to smaller pieces. So you can still back up, but instead of to the iTunes app, you're gonna use a Finder window. What? I know, it's true. Open a Finder window from the dock. Select your device from the sidebar under Devices. Click on the General tab. Next, click Backup Now. Depending on how much data you have, this could take anywhere from a few minutes up to 30, which is the perfect amount of time to watch the hilarious 80s sitcom, ALF. ALF stands for Alien Life Form, and the antics really fly when ALF crash lands into the Tanner family garage. And what, um, it's done? Oh, that's fast. At the end of the day, I highly recommend that you back up your iPhone, and hopefully our video helps. If you're looking for other Apple tips and tricks, check out our AirDrop video. We show you how to set it up and use it. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, keep your damn mouth shut.